Hello, my name's Leslie Atherton, and this is my short story, Hangman's Noose. Those people who have an interest in true crime may well recognise the story. There's always something disturbing about a hangman's noose. It's a personal thing, I know that, and it's probably even more personal for me, owing to my unique circumstances. I was the last woman sent to the gallows by England's judicial system. After I came and went, people started talking about capital punishment a little more, and laws were changed bit by bit. So I've done some good and have made a difference, albeit in my own way. And all of this came about because I was convicted and executed for killing a man. It was 1953. And in common with all of the other girls at the club where I worked, I liked to meet the rich, the famous, the hard-drinking and the fascinating. I knew that David was a posh type, but I loved him and he quickly moved in with me. I had always had a power over men and I liked to think he liked me more than I liked him. So we split up and I went off with someone else. I even moved the other guy into my flat after a bit. But I kept seeing David. I couldn't help it. Even though he got angry all the time. He wanted to marry me too, but it was obvious that family life was not for him. When he killed the baby I was carrying when he punched me in the stomach. He wasn't a good man, but I loved him and I hated him. They say that I waited in a newsagent's doorway and shot him with a Smith & Wesson victory. They say I was drunk, and I'd have to agree. Six shots, they say, and the last missed. But David ran once I'd fired the first, and that's what made me fire more. I fired bullets once he'd fallen and fired them close into his body. They were close enough to give him powder burns. Once I'd fired my sixth shot, I asked David's friend to phone the police. He's been there all the time and was a witness to everything, but I'd have done the same even if he hadn't been there. His presence forced me to admit what I'd done. I'd have admitted it anyway. My confession was calmly given. He died, though, David did. Seems the bullets got him in his windpipe, aorta, lung, liver and intestines. He hadn't always been a good man to me, but did he deserve that? I thought so at the time, but I don't know now. When the case came to court, they asked me over and over if I'd shot the gun, and if so, why? I just replied by saying... It's obvious when I shot him, I intended to kill him. They'd have to be a bit simple not to understand that, but I think they were simple. Despite my admission and the witnesses, they kept saying I had to get the jury on my side. It was stupid. For what difference would my dressing down make to my case, and would I even want it to? It would help my case, they reckoned, if I didn't wear the smart black suit and style my hair so elegantly. I used to make a living as a model. So my body is my business, and I'll stay as I am, thank you. Did they think that only ugly people kill? It took the jury 20 minutes to make their decision, and that's barely enough time to get to the room and back. Clear cut, they said. My next step was a condemned cell at Holloway, where I awaited my death date. I didn't want a reprieve, though others did, my friends and family and supporters. They thought they were doing me a favour, but they weren't. I didn't want a reprieve. I had fired those six shots. I said it to the press afterwards. I saw myself, my body and my reaching hands. I saw myself with that gun as if another person. It was me and yet not me. My solicitor suggested to me that it was as if I was on the outside looking in. I think that's true. I don't deny I did it, but I deny that I did it with a cold, hard heart. After the hanging, my body was left hanging for an hour. And I ended up in an unmarked grave at first, but later was transferred to a proper cemetery. They think it matters. It doesn't. What matters is love. I still love him, you know. I told his parents that, but I don't think they believed me. And I don't think they cared. But I cared. I cared very much. In my own way. <laughs>